Hello, I'm Nicole Kronzer, author of Unscripted, which comes out Tuesday, April 21st. And I'm here to take you on a behind the scenes tour of how Unscripted came to be. I'm um, coming at you from sheltering in place. Uh, so this is sheltering in place hair, which is finally long enough to fit on top of my head, which is very exciting. And I did put on some lipstick for you. So that's an improvement over my appearance over the last month or so. Uh, the first thing that I like to do when I create a story is I'm a plotter. You know, um, people talk about plotters or pantsers, right? You write by the seat of your pants or you plot out where you're going to go. So I'm definitely a plotter and I like to use Dan Harmon's story circle theory. So I have the story circle. It changes. It just like changed so much, but it, it gave me a really good solid foundation of, of a place to go. And when I would get stuck, I would, you know, like at least be able to barrel through and get to the next section. And I knew I could go back and fix it. Um, and then the next thing I do is I come out and I lay each section out and I kind of just get a little bit more specific about what I want to happen in that section and how people should feel. But you can see by the end, I <laughs> it changes a lot. And sometimes, um, you know, it's, uh, it is like, it's just like a totally different <laughs> section or book than, than I planned on it being, but the planning is still really important. This book takes place in a summer camp, so there I am. I'm not a I'm not a drawer, but I, I was trying to like map out what where I thought all the bunks should go, you know, in the cabin that we spend the most time in. And then finally, like when I get down to it, um, I start, you know, actually writing the book, and um, and I and I, I so I write, and then the next day I go back and I reread what I wrote the day before. And sometimes like I'll add notes in or sometimes um, I'll just put post-it notes like this really helpful one that said more Paloma. <laughs> Paloma is one of the characters of the book. But, you know, that first version, I just feel so much freedom to be like, ah, eh, future Nicole is going to worry about this. So there's there's another section with just post-it notes added to help my second version self. Um, I was, I remember being so into the story one day, but I, I had a place that I had to go that I was walking to that place and writing. And so my handwriting changes in this section because I'm actually walking while I'm writing, which I know is very intense, but I'm very intense. <laughs> Uh, this page is a good one that shows us how each day I write in a different color. So you can see some days don't, I don't write as much. Uh, but what I like that shows me like that I'm making progress, you know, that like I'm like, oh, I wrote, this is everything I wrote yesterday. And then it also, when I go back and make notes, I'm writing in different colored ink. And so that's, that's really fun. That's really fun too. Um, I used up this whole notebook and then I got into this yellow legal pad uh, that also has helpful notes like maybe Brian or Ricky always wears a stocking cap. I don't think they ended up doing that at all, but it was a thought I had. And, uh, you know, you could just see it's like writing and writing and writing. Um, and then the end, I like to date the end, right? My last time. So you can see that I couldn't remember the year. Isn't that hilarious? Like, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, yeah, so there I was. June 12th, 2017. The ending is totally different. Um, it was actually kind of bleak, the original ending. And my editor was like, what, or I think it was my agent. She was just like, what is this terribly sad ending? And so the ending is, is much more hopeful now. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. I have some other things that, okay, so right there, there I am. I wrote the first version. I revised it. I typed it. I've met it many times. My critique partner, Christy Romo, read it, critiqued it. And then I sent it sort of out into the world a little bit. And so my friend Jan from school wrote me this note after she read it and it says someday you will be signing your book for me love you gee so this was before i had an agent before we even knew that unscripted was going to be a thing so that was really cool um here are my notes from when my friend and mentor oh look so you got a minion this is what happens when you live with children stickers end up everywhere um so this is my friend and mentor nina lacour gave me feedback and this is like our conversation and i wrote it all down you can see i crossed off the things when i changed it um, this, these are notes from my agent. And so I printed them out after she was like, yes, I want to be your agent. And then here are some things you should change. And so here are the things that some of the things she was just like, I really like these things, but then you can see, like I went through them and I crossed off all the things I needed to change. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you this morning, um, is this is my editor letter. So when an editor buys your book, then they send you a letter 
of, again, the things they, that they like and the things you need to change. And so this first page here, these are the things that Maggie, my genius editor, loved. And then these are all the things that she wanted me to change. And I remember my husband was like, oh my gosh, this is just so much. But it, it didn't make me feel that way. When I read Maggie's letter, I was like, oh, she understands what I'm trying to do. Oh my gosh, these things are going to make it so much better. And so you can see like my notes are all over it um, as I went through and incorporated all of that feedback. So um, yeah, and now it's just so strange because, you know, one of the things it, like kids see this book, right? I'm always thinking about teenagers. Um, and, and, you know, my students, they like see a book, but they don't always see the process, right? About how, how it starts with just like a person and a pen and, and a notebook and an idea. And um, it's all of that work in order to make this. So this is coming. This is where it started. Um, ooh, I'm sorry. I do have one more thing. <laughs> So I got to meet my editor and everyone at the um, publisher in February, but before the pandemic. And when you, I don't know if you've ever been to like a fancy office building in New York City, but now when you go in, they like take your picture and then, um, and then it, like your picture goes on your chest. Well, Maggie was standing right behind me. And so <laughs> I think it looks like we're running for office and that cracked me up so much. So I kept that. So anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope that that was interesting to you, the behind the scenes look of how Unscripted came to be.